Hello. I am Corey, and I'm here with Jeremiah. We're going to be doing some cranial sacral therapy. And it is my distinct pleasure to introduce all of you friends to my friend Corey, who I've had the, this will be my third cranial sacral uh, experience. The first two were extremely positive, and we wanted to share this with you all. So I will uh, leave you in the incredibly caring, soothing hands of Corey. Thank you. That was a nice deep breath. Will you take two more deep breaths, just like that one? And as you've been taking those deep breaths, I've been melding with you with my hands, placing my hands gently on your skull, softly connecting with the tissue there. Tuning into your body's natural rhythms and natural movements. feeling right now, Jeremiah? It's fascinating feeling. Um, your hands, the way they're touching my head, it's, um, it's weirdly calming. It's very comforting. I'm definitely feeling relaxed <clears throat> and you know I have a very very deep trust in you and because I have such a pretty profound trust in you um, it just makes this extremely relaxing I just you have a There's a catharsis in your touch that's uh, hard to describe. Thank you, that's so lovely to hear. Mm -hmm. I'm tuning into your occipital bone and your frontal bone. And I'm letting them move and show me what the movement is like and if there's any restrictions in that movement mm -hmm. and I do feel a little a little stuckishness over here in the occipital mm -hmm. bone mm -hmm. I'm going to tune in a little deeper I'm just going to encourage that to open up I'm going to follow as it expands and contracts, expands from there and that expansion. I'm going to ask for more expansion. And there it is. I feel a softening. And I'm tuning back into that rhythm. Expansion. Contraction. It's hard to describe your touch as anything other than like melding, melding. Like it really feels like like 
a unique sensation. My intention is to meld. My intention is to connect. It and really feels like it. To really meet you where you're at and not to force myself upon you. Right. Just to really listen to what your body is doing and what your body wants to be doing. And now I really feel as you're breathing. Right now I feel your occipital bone is relaxing. The tension that was there is starting to melt away, and there we go. That rhythm has a broader range now, greater amplitude. And it's alerting me to a spot in your neck here where there's a tight muscle. So I'm just gonna give a little energy there. Some t similar touch, but with a little bit more presence. And where are you feeling that in your body? Um, oddly enough, in my mid back. Hmm. That's weird. On what side? I'm feeling this tension pattern go down onto your right side. Correct. It is on my right side. So that tension is pulling all the way up here at your neck. Here we are in the muscles in the front of your neck now. Again, I'm just really meeting the tension that I feel here. Following any subtle movement of the muscles, letting your muscles move with your breath. Go. I start to feel some of your muscles on the right side of the front of your neck starting to unwind. Yeah. Feels like they're unraveling. Oh. Some of these here feel like yep. they've been riding together for a little while and they're yep. unraveling. I'm just following that tissue as it unravels, seeing where it's going to lead me to next. Here we go, right up your neck. Where would you feel my fingers here? Where would you say they are here on the right side? Well, it feels like they're just after behind my lymph node area. But it's interesting, I can already feel the right side of my back relaxing. Interesting. I, you know, I feel like you're near my clerno uh, clitosternomastoid, which is a fancy word for that kind of big tendon that goes up your neck. Yeah, this muscle here yeah, that is thing. for sure we call it the SCM. The SCM, yeah. The sternocleidomastoid. That's the one. There, I'm really feeling that. Oh. Going right up to behind your ears. Oh. Right behind your jawbone, your mandible. And to give you an all an idea of what I'm feeling, so Corey is very gently using her fingers uh, on what would be very sensitive spots, like what would be considered almost pressure points. But she's doing it in a very careful way, and the result is a weird combination of like release and pressure but it's, it's not painful. It's very relaxing. But yeah, I'm trying to give you folks an idea of like what it feels like. And uh, it's fascinating. I just felt a whole bunch of relaxation in your fascia. Yeah. I feel like that went down into your back here. Yeah. There we go for the sake okay. of what we're doing here. We're gonna go back up to your head here to the tops of your ears now. 
That SEM has been pulling here for a long time too. Yeah. So, I carry a lot of tension to my SCM. Hmm, I'm feeling how they pull on your temporal bones here. Yeah. Where your temporals meet your parietal. Hmm. The bones of our skull almost kind of breathe mm. where they meet. And there's this lovely rhythm that our body has. And I can feel that in the skull bones here as they slightly move. And so I'm encouraging them where I feel them to be stuck to move just a little bit more. Again, I'm noticing your right side. It's a little different from your left side here in terms of the rate mm. and speed of the rhythm. So I'm going to work to just sync these two sides up. I felt some release there at those sutures. We're going to go to your temporal bone here. Thinking of the membranes inside of your skull that I have access to here. And we're going to create some space with a gentle stretch here of your ears. That is a weird stretch. I am not mad about it, <laughs> but it's very weird. So just gently pulling your ears here. Again, still really connected to you and to your tissue. I'm trying not to exert my will or my force, just really tuning into what I'm feeling in your body. So I'm feeling, at first I just feel where my thumbs are the tissue there and now I feel like I feel the tissue stretching more into your inner ear and there I feel the same on the right side and now I'm really really intently focusing on those membranes inside your skull right now as we get a little stretch here And we're just going to spend a little extra time here on the right side. And I feel more relaxation, more release of tension. I actually feel this in your jaw now. There we go. And let's check back in. Let's check that rhythm. How are you doing? Wonderful. Very calm. We can hold so much stress in our cranium mm -hmm. and our scalp and the bones that lie underneath. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, it's funny, I think. It's an area that is, of course, often overlooked. And it's like, well, you can't. How do you hold tension in your cranium? <laughs> <laughs> and yet... <laughs> It's all in your head. It's all in your head. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go check on that occipital bone again and see okay. how that's doing with all these changes, these subtle, subtle changes. I'm really 
of getting pulled in here into the back of your right yeah. ear. So again, I'm just meeting that tension that I feel. It's like it wants quite a bit of awareness here. Mm. Mm. Right there. And a muscular note. Here's a little knot. So that's releasing. I'm following that down. That is going straight down the right side of my back. Straight down the that right side wild. of my back. That is so connected. Yeah, this is where pretty much we're right on the attachment of your SEM right near that. Attachment is really starting. All your tissues taking me right there. Yeah. Is this all okay for you? It's dope. Okay. At any time it's not okay, you let me know. Will do. If it's ever too much, just tell me to back off or stop. It's weird how our bodies are connected in these strange ways. I'm going to place my fingers right under your mandible while also touching the sides of your neck. Going in with some hug pressure here. There we go. All right. How are you feeling? So pleasant. Very relaxed, very, um, I feel very loose. I'm going to take one hand here at the back of your head, and we're just going to slide my other hand down your spine to your tailbone, to your sacrum. I'm just going to hold these two places. And tune into that cranial sacral rhythm, flexion, extension. Flexion, extension. This feels good. Take a few deep breaths here. And as many of my longer time viewers will know I have uh, struggled with mid and lower back um, stress, pain, tension uh, my entire life and uh, it's so interesting to have it approached from like this kind of what occurs is like a weird like oblique angle like why are you messing with my jaw to fix my back, right? And yet, they're completely connected. When you start tweaking with one thing, I can start feeling it in like this other area and it's just like, whoa, dude. It's all connected. It's all connected. Yeah, I'm really feeling your mid-back now that we've release some of that tension, so I'm just touching on each side of your spine, right along your thoracic spine. Hmm. It's funny, your hands almost feel like little heat radiators, 
in like a really wonderful way. It's like your hands are like these healing, warming pads. Mm. Your lateral ribs and your thoracic. And go under your arms here. Get into those shoulder blades for a moment. Back of your shoulder blades, your scapula. And really starting to feel all your tissue, all your fascia starting to unwind. So much tension here at the top of your yeah. shoulders. It takes me a minute to unwind. Give these muscles a big lift and a hug. I'm noticing from when we started that there's much more pliability. Yeah. Can move more movement here. Mm -hmm. You can really get into these deep held tension patterns mm -hmm. without much effort at all. Mm -hmm. Just that little bit of a hug of my hands and right here at the the deepest muscles. Mm-hmm. And here we go, back up to your neck. Feeling right where we were before, under the, behind the ears. I want to adjust the camera a little bit so you folks can see her hands on my neck. So I'm gonna very slowly move this down a tickle just so you can see what's happening. <clears throat> here, I've been working in here. This area right behind your ears. I touch your mantle you here. Feeling a lot of movement of your tissue starting to happen. It feels kind of like a swirling. Oh. I'm actually feeling your tongue right here. So we're going to just say hello to some of your tongue muscles here mm. under your mandible, your hyoid bone. It's like when I said high wage, your body knew exactly what I was talking about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Wade. Hi, Wade. Yeah, we as humans can hold so much tension in our tongue and it can really affect our entire posture and the way we hold our head and our neck. Absolutely wild. Let's go back to your head and make sure everything's in sync here. Okay. I'm going to exaggerate this rhythm that I'm feeling here, so I'm really feeling this extension, flexion. Mm. Oh, there's a still point. That's when everything gets really still and just stops for a moment. It can have a very wonderful, relaxing feeling. Mm. This coming with it. There we go. Still feeling that still point. Mm. 
Mm, coming back online, there I go. Nice. <laughs> and feels like everything's really moving now. Checking out these temple bones. How are you feeling? Delightful. Well, you're all in sync now. Everything feels like it's got a really good yeah. sense of movement. Still feeling a little stuckness right in there. Yeah. There it goes. Yeah, you're in process. You're unwinding now. Take the deepest breath you've taken all day. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Corey. So, <clears throat> man, okay. I hope you were able to find this as relaxing as I did. Do me look on the camera. Okay, I'm like in the wooly land. I hope you were able to enjoy this with me. Um, I'm definitely going to be having more content with Corey in the future, so all my dear friends, I am very happy to warmly welcome uh, Corey to our little ASMR family. I have had the profound pleasure of sort of almost four of these sessions. We did a session a couple weeks ago, and as Corey was talking about your tongue being tight she started working with my tongue and through that release i felt my lower back release <laughs> i was just like these two are not connected how are they connected and yet so um thank you for joining us on this uh this journey and we hope you find peace serenity and calmness in your own life So it is. Uh, we'll see you soon, my friends. We'll see you soon.